All right, so today we're going to change uh, the spark plugs and the wires on this 2009 Chrysler Town & Country. So in another video, I replaced uh, the ignition coil pack um, and the new coil pack wasn't numbered. So before I started, I went ahead and numbered the cylinders on the coil pack um, since it's pretty nonsensical how it's numbered. So it's two, four, six, uh, which makes perfect sense because that matches the front of the motor. But on the back, it's five, one, three. Even though the cylinders are one, three, five, two, four, six. So I went ahead and numbered those. And then on the new wires, uh, they're not numbered either. So I went ahead and marked those with a Sharpie. Uh, and the only tricky part with the set of wires that I got um, so the longest two wires are going to be wires uh, number two and number one, which have to go all the way from here all the way to the left side of the motor. And the second longest set of wires are going to be wires uh, number th three and number four. So number three and number four. Uh, but then for whatever reason, the wires for number six and number five uh, at least in the wire set that I purchased, are a slightly different length. Uh, so five is the one that's actually the shortest, uh, and six is a little bit longer. So I went ahead and numbered those ahead. Uh, the ones that were on here um, actually were numbered. They're Mopar wires, um, so they actually have the numbers on them, as you can kind of see. So I wanted to go ahead and do that um, ahead of time so I had everything numbered and I could put it back in the right place. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the fronts. So since I've got everything numbered and I know where the cylinder positions are, I can take things off um, kind of more in bulk um, and I'll know where to put it back. So I'm going to go ahead and take this wire clip off and go ahead and pull these off. Okay, go ahead and pull off uh, the spark plugs. Go ahead and pull these spark plugs out. So I have a 16 millimeter spark plug wrench, um, and I'm going to go ahead and pull these out. The ones that are in there are um, Champion uh, double platinums that the dealership put in uh, when the plugs were changed about 80,000 miles ago. And uh, we're going to get these out. Um, so the double platinums, in theory, will last about 60,000 miles. They've definitely lasted longer than that. I'm going to replace them with iridiums, um, uh, just because I, iridiums are going to last longer, and we put a lot of miles on this vehicle. So here's what uh, those champions look like. after about uh, 85,000 miles. And then when we were, when we were on vacation, I actually replaced one of these, which was uh, gear and cylinder number four, because that was the original code uh, that was being thrown. And then after I changed four, it went to spark plug uh, to cylinder one, so I ended up replacing the coil pack, and that made it run properly, so we get back from vacation. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get these uh, plugs out. So like I said, this is the one that I replaced while we were on vacation.
This one's a little bit tighter with the uh, dipstick here. All right, so on uh, cylinder one, I uh, just needed to get uh, another extension and get clear of uh, the air conditioning line or the coolant line and the dipstick so I can get some loose. Yeah. put the new ones in on the front to show you the kind of the difference. So these are the new iridiums versus the old uh, double platinums. <clears throat> See iridium's a lot harder metal and has a much smaller tip there on the plug. So go ahead and get these three installed on the front side of the motor. The other thing about iridiums is they're going to be gapped uh, from the factory, so you're not going to uh, need to adjust the gap on the plug, um, which is kind of nice, saves you that one step. Started by hand. Stick in the ratchet out of the uh, extension here. Get it in. So we'll go ahead and get these and tightened. And snug them up real quick with the ratchet. Alright. Right. Snug up the other two. So 
go ahead and get these snugged up. Okay. So good. All right. So, uh, like I said, this is uh, cylinder two, four, six, and then I'd gone ahead and pre-numbered uh, uh, the wires since they weren't uh, numbered. So this is six. This is number six. I'm going to go ahead and get it connected. Push that boot up on there. All right. All right. Go ahead and put it on the spark plug. Pop in place. And we'll go ahead and put uh, wire number four on. Pop in place. And then we'll do number two. bottom but if yours isn't it would go right there actually it's gonna stay cool so that's the front of the motor 100% done uh, so now we get the back all right let me go ahead and disconnect the spark plug wires on the back More difficult because you can't see them and you can't get as good of a grip and leverage. Disconnect them from ignition coil back around. All right, so on the back, uh, go ahead and got it so I can just use two hands to pull these off. All right, so got those off. All right, so now, let me go ahead and get the plugs out. Uh, that'll be a little more difficult because you can't really see. It's a little bit tighter back here. So let me go ahead and take these loose on the back side of the engine. It's a little more difficult because you can't really see.
Give you some more leverage. Cylinder number five, which is the hardest to get to, the plug uh, is just being real stubborn. So I'm just having to slowly take it out. And we'll see when it comes out what is going on. But it's just been slow and steady to get this thing out. The other two on the back side um, were definitely a bit dirtier all the way up the threads. So I'm hoping that there's just was a lot of crud uh, on this plug. But we shall see what happens. So as you can see, it's just real crudded up, and so it was just real stubborn to come out. And then down here, you can see that it was just real uh, crudded up and maybe rusty. So I think that's why it was so difficult to come out. When I was torquing it to come out, of course, I broke this ceramic part. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the plugs in on the back. fingers. I already started the one in cylinder number five which is that one that was hard to get out. Just to make sure I was going to be able to get a plug back in there. Fifteen. tighten them up with just the socket and the extension. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and tighten these up with the ratchet. So we're going to go ahead and tighten these up. So even uh, cylinder number five, which was the one that was really hard to get plug out of, bent uh, up real good. All right. So this thing has uh, this little some plastic to wrap the wires and kind of keep them off everything. Put it back in here. on oh uh, come off of the head all right so uh i'm gonna go ahead and do wire number five which is the shortest one first all right. route it through this furthest channel pop it on to
It's like I said, we'll do number, wire number five, which is the shortest one. So I do a Adjust this a little bit. Right, so I'm gonna put it down in here. And I'm gonna find the plug. Just make sure it don't pop down there good and seated well. Alright, so next up I will do. And do wire number three and pop wire number three on the middle. Drive it along here and the channel. It's holder. Both the clips are broken. That seems to be pretty common. I'm gonna zip tie them once I'm done. Let's right, so find the spark plug. So the center one. Excess and leave it up here. All right, I'm gonna take wire number one. On each of these wires, I've had to um, push the wire connector a little bit up into the boot and then pop on wire number one. Clip in place. And actually put it on. Alright, that popped in place. And then I'm gonna put the extra up here. And then zip tie. This in place. Alright, so now I'll go ahead and start it up. Alright, so it starts up, the computer will do a little bit of adjustment because it's plugs that are different than the, uh, the double platinums that were in there. <laughs> 